morning. I hope that you're all doing well. So this morning, I just had some early morning lectures today all online through Zoom. So the first session that we did was on introduction to treatment planning for patients. And this is pretty exciting because we will just be starting to work with some patients coming up in October. It is really interesting and refreshing a way to be able to apply what we've learned so far to working with patients and coming up with the proper treatment plan based on their diagnosis and just following the appropriate sequence of treatment planning for them. The second part of the morning was focused on reviewing the what to do in case of medical emergencies that may come up when we are practicing. So this is mostly a review of what we've learned last year, just in cases of syncope, obviously fainting or loss of consciousness is a common medical emergency in clinic. So just learning what to do in cases of those as well as other things like code blue and going over the proper steps or sequence to follow when that arises. Second year has been overwhelming initially <laughs> with the first week and at the rate of how things are going. I've been trying to prioritize things and take it slow. It was just initially a lot to absorb at first. <laughs> so update you on how the rest of today goes later. Hi, it's the past again and it's about five hours or so after that last clip. I just got changed because I had to finish my whole day and um, I don't know, it was just really long sitting at the same one spot for a while. Later on, in preparation for our patient recall exam that's coming up, we just had to do some assignments that will get us to become familiar first with the patient that we will be seeing. I first need to become familiar with their medical and dental history. We also had another exercise that was just to get us familiar with updating our patient's dental records. This way, the odontogram. Oh, the that came out a little weird. The odontogram. It was just a little um, confusing to see um, where things are. And in the end, uh, I'm going to definitely look over that assignment more because there are definitely some other parts that I just need to be more efficient at doing. That was to save me a lot of time for when I'm doing odontograms later on for real patients. I also have a webinar that's coming up later too. This is going to be hosted by the Bites Institute. If you just remember my, I believe my vlog from January, which was like way back when, it felt like a whole lifetime ago, where I went to the conference and one of the workshop was the implant workshop. That one was also organized by the Bites Institute and I really enjoyed that. So when I heard that they're hosting the webinar, I just really wanted to see again what they are presenting and I'm always curious about implants and learning more about them. Actually, before I let you go, I just wanted to update you on one important thing. Uh, the last two days when we were at the clinic, I was able to go pick up my white coat, which is really exciting. Uh, and as many of you know, the white coat ceremony marks the transition from preclinical didactic studies to working with patients. It's just an important ceremony to commemorate the privilege and honor we have in serving others and also to remember the ethics and professionalism code that we abide by in treating and helping these patients. It's just really exciting because I saw my friends getting their white coat um, last year and I was just really happy for them and I was looking forward to my own ceremony too. But Unfortunately, as you all know, COVID happened and unfortunately, I'm not going to be having an in-person Waco ceremony with everyone this term just for safety reasons. Things are going to be looking a little different this year. I have some little bit of a break before my CPR Red Cross recertification tonight. So I'm just hoping to go get a little bit of food out here and also look around for some Tupperware containers. I broke one a while back. The last time I remember, there were some really decent glass Tupperwares in here. But I don't think these are up to par with what I will be looking for. These are cute, but I think I have to go somewhere else for more decent 
sturdy ones I can use for school. I just got home sometimes after. I felt I didn't really get a good explanation for today. I just went out today to um, see a couple of my friends and we just took a video of us coding each other for the white coat ceremony. So I explained earlier about how the white coat ceremony isn't happening this year because of COVID and therefore it's not safe yet for the gathering of a lot of people with the faculty and our family members and us. So we're just going to be compiling a video of each of us being coded for all of our family members to see later on, which is a little unfortunate and it's not the way that I wanted my white coat ceremony to be, but it is all for um, the best of our well-being. Just going to have to get ready fast for that CPR um, research vacation. Thinking of maybe getting some food too since it's gonna go about um, for about one and a half, two hours. Yeah, just in case I get hungry later on. Okay, okay see you.